What do you think Chris is jamming to right now? His jam? Oh, what he's jamming to? This is the September issue of Bon Appetit magazine. There are a lot of restaurant-driven recipes in here, but there also happens to be pan-seared scallops with chorizo and corn, which is what we're gonna make today. You'll probably encounter scallops that look like this, but they actually start in a shell, and there's a lot of other little body parts in there. There's mussels and roe sacks. That's all cleaned by the time they arrive at the grocery store or the seafood department. They oftentimes will still have a little tough muscle on the side of them. So this is super easy, it just peels right off, but it's a little bit tough, so it's a good idea to just check and see if they're on there and peel those off before you start cooking. I once worked in a restaurant and there was a line cook who was like, I'm obsessed with the mussels, save them for me. So like he would just have like a plastic bag of scallop mussels and he would eat them. Gross. So gross. An important distinction to make with scallops is that they come either dry packed or wet packed. These are dry packed scallops, which means they haven't been treated in any way since they were removed from the ocean, which means that when you go to cook them and you're looking for that golden brown crust, a lot of water will come out flooding the pan and they'll steam and you won't get that same effect. So always look for dry packed scallops. So these are all cleaned and now we're going to do the prep work involved in the corn ragu. I have three ears of corn and an upturned bowl inside a larger bowl to catch the kernels. I'm just gonna cut them all off the cob here. Clean corn job. It's a corn ragu. All of the kernels are off the cob now, but there's a lot of corn milk left on these cobs. So what you can do is use the back, the dull side of the knife, and drag it down the cob to release all of that milk. Don't leave any flavor behind. We are using dry cured Spanish chorizo. It looks like this in the package. Sometimes it comes in a U shape, you'll see it. Um, it's a Spanish chorizo that is not fresh but cured. It doesn't really go bad and there's a lot of spices already in this chorizo, so that brings a lot of flavor to whatever you're cooking. I'm just dicing this up pretty finely. We're going to chop up these scallions. What's your, what's your cooking jam? Um, I listen to just like weird moody music without any lyrics. Lyrics are kind of distracting. Or classical. I love some classical. Claire de Lune. Such an epic song. Epic cooking song. Really epic anything song. Twelve scallions all chip chopped up. I have four garlic cloves, which I'm going to slice. Just thinly sliced. All right, one serrano pepper. These can be kind of spicy. I like to taste before I throw the whole thing in and just see how spicy we're really talking. And wait for it. It can grow. Not that spicy. So we'll put the whole serrano in. I have a lime here that I'll squeeze over the scallops when they're done, so we'll keep that at the ready. So the dish comes together pretty quickly once we head over to the stove, so important to get all of your mise en place, which is your prep work, done in advance. Just patting dry these cilantros. Chop the cilantro and this will get folded into the ragu at, towards the end so that it doesn't wilt and turn brown. I'm putting a paper towel on these scallops to soak up any surface moisture before they hit the pan so that they get a nice golden brown crust. Okay, let me get a tray and then we'll go cook the ragu. Come on over here. So I have a medium saucepan. Whoop. I'm gonna heat one tablespoon of oil over medium heat here. So this saucepan is where we're gonna build this little corn buttermilk chorizo ragu. Okay, party people, over here. Vibing with Chris here. You're vibing? Okay, the group is called Time Cop 1983. Oh my god, I love that. You I love that? I was just gonna say that. How 
friggin' dorky do I seem now. <laughs> That's great. Time Cop 1983. Oh man, I hope for your sake that gets edited like, out, but I feel like on. it's not going like, to. Just made me look Time real Cop! Bad, Molly, okay? <laughs> no joke, I was just playing them in That's the studio. So you funny. were? You guys are yeah. both it's, such it's dorks. Like, I think it's like some dude who, like, I mean, maybe he's older now, but it's like somebody who just does it on their own, like in their apartment in like Copenhagen or whatever, you know? It's so good. Wow. All right, back to the cooking. Hot oil, we're adding chorizo. That's basically just made my day. And I'm just looking to render out some of the fat that's in this chorizo and leave it nice and crispy. So you'll see it immediately turns this beautiful rust color and that's from all the paprika in the chorizo. And what's cool about this recipe is that we're gonna save all of that red oil and we're gonna use it for searing our scallops. Smells fab. Okay, you don't wanna burn the chorizo, so as soon as you see it start to really smoke, then you know it's time. So, we're looking crispy McCrisperson, so we're going to strain off that oil Leave the chorizo behind and we'll use that later on. I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of olive oil and all of the aromatics. Season that with a little bit of salt and just cook this for a couple of minutes until they begin to soften. This looks nice and softened, it smells good. Time to add the corn. I'll cook this for another five to seven minutes. Okay, let's take a little taste see how our corn's doing. This is delicious peak season corn. You guys are in for a real treat today. I feel like this corn is in a good place and the next part of this ragu is adding buttermilk which is just gonna give a creamy sauce to bind it all together. However, if you add buttermilk to something that's this hot it will split and it will look like curdled milk. So I'm gonna turn this off the heat and let it cool for about five minutes. It's time to cook the scallops. Important to season them right before you cook because if you do it in advance, they'll draw out moisture. Theme of this video is dry scallops, golden brown, crust. A little bit of olive oil. So this is where the reserved bright red chorizo oil comes into play. We're gonna add it to the olive oil cook the scallops in that. I think people are really intimidated by cooking scallops, um, but the most important thing is that your oil be super, super hot. See the smoke billowing? I don't want it to get too much hotter than that, so I'm gonna go in with the scallops, season side down. This is the hard part, but we're not going to move them until they naturally release from the pan. The side of the scallop that has the largest surface area is the side that I'm gonna sear because it's gonna give us the most crust. This looks nice. I'm gonna flip. Mmm. Okay, then the final moment here, and this happens quickly because scallops can overcook in an instant. So once you have established a good crust, you don't want to cook them that much longer on the second side. I'm actually gonna turn the heat off and add in a couple tablespoons of butter to the skillet, and I'm just gonna baste them giving it some love, some buttery love. Neat. I'm gonna remove them so that they don't overcook. Drizzle some of these yummy pan juices over so that they can kind of sit and mingle in it. I'm gonna set these aside and then we'll finish our corn ragu with buttermilk and cilantro. So it's cool enough that I can now add one cup of buttermilk, sort of like a light brothy, almost chowdery ragu and then the chopped cilantro. We'll taste and adjust for seasoning. Obviously I put more. It's really delicious. So, back we go. A little bit of lime just to squeeze over these scallops because there's a lot of butter and fat going on right now so this will help break that up. And then into the famous bowl goes the ragu. Do 
two. This guy's beautiful. Three. A lime wedge for serving. I mean, is that not the spitting image? Chris? Don't hate me. Do you want to come over and taste? But you have to bring your headphones and we're going to taste while we listen. Same artist? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, here. We're, uh, what's it called again? Time, time. Cop All Day. Time. <laughs> time Cop All Day. No, Time Cop 1983. Come on. So this is seared scallops with a chorizo corn. You feeling that? The yeah, I'm feeling about it. To it's, drop in. it's like it's, it's building. building. It's a slow. It's a slow build. Okay. Uh, chorizo corn buttermilk ragu. Chorizo corn buttermilk ragu. I feel like buttermilk good. is like my crutch these days. Yeah, you put it in your pasta too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Can I taste this first? Are you tasting? Yeah, I'm tasting. Just How waiting for tasting. the music to really like for the yeah. beat to drop in. A little green chili in there. Serrano, it wasn't a very spicy one. No, it wasn't. See, how much more fun is it? You so know? much more it's, fun. I wish they could hear it too. You've totally converted me. <laughs> <laughs> I was such a hater at the beginning of this episode. Guys, I'm sorry you're not in cool. our headphones right now. You're really missing out. Really good. Ben approves. Cool, delicious. Should I leave these with you? You no, may. Cool. All right. You may go. Cool, all right, later. Bring <laughs> out your inner cop, put on time cop, buy some scallops. Go to the farmer's market and get some corn because it's peak right now. And put this on the table for dinner tonight. Yes? yes. Are you with me? <laughs> I'm with you. Well, like I have a pot of rice on. And oh. If there's any of that leftover, I'm putting that mm. on the rice. And, and all the juices. Oh, yeah. We have all the buttery, limey juices. We have lunch lined up. <laughs> 